It's been a while since we've been on vacation. Do you think we should go on a vacation again? I don't know. Last time we went on a vacation, it was a fucking shit show. Goddamn cultist war. Almost getting fucking nuked. At least we made it out of there. And I heard Chris Redfield arrested the Seed family so they won't be pulling that shit again. The last time I heard anything about that situation, they had the Seeds incarcerated somewhere. That begs the question, which canon are we in? I don't think we are in any canon right now. We are just doing random videos not related to any canon. For the most part. I have one more question. Where is Pyro? In all of these videos, he has only been in a few. Pyro left the team a few years back. He went to do his own thing. I see. I do wish him the best and hope he is successful in whatever he may be doing. I have a question. What the fuck is League of Legends? It's an online multiplayer game. Why do you ask? Skeleton has been talking about it a lot lately, mostly about some pop band from it. That gives me a great fucking idea. You know how we are always going to war with Overwatch and fighting them in a battle for supremacy. I say instead of going to war with Overwatch, we go to war with League of Legends. I call it Operation League Killer. Why must we always go to war with other game franchises? Why can't we make friendship with them and form alliances? We could both benefit from it. Hold on! I want to hear what Soldier has to say. Think about it. After we kick their asses in the war, we can expend our territory and take all their resources. We can then use that to fund further wars and expend even more. I do like that idea. But after all the shit we've been through lately, another war is simply something that I do not wish to be a part of right now. Besides, we made a lot of money from our last battles with Overwatch. How the fuck did we do that? We made them give us their money after we beat them, like everyone does after winning wars. On the topic of wars, I think if we were to go to war, it should be against Mario. That son of a bitch is a fucking totalitarian dictator. Always DMCing everyone. Yeah, Mario's a dick. I agree with this one. The way he treats his own fans is fucking horrible. Taking down non-commercial fan games by people who just want to show their love for their games that they are passionate about is fucking infuriating. Yeah, I wanted to make a new F-Zero fan game because I don't fucking see Mario doing it. The only reason why I haven't is because I know that fat fucking bastard would just take it down. Fuck you, Mario! Fuck you, you fucking ungrateful, fucking selfish, disrespectful asshole! Sonic, my friend! Please calm down before you hurt yourself. Mario is nothing more than a corrupt, greedy dictator who cares only for money and not the feelings of his fans or people. His only concern is himself and his profit. I must say I agree with this possible war. His fans and people deserve so much better, but... I thought Princess Peach was the leader of the Mushroom Kingdom. She was, until he overthrew her and seized control of the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach and her supporters were exiled. Their current whereabouts are unknown. But he got sick of saving her fat ass, I mean. How many fucking times do you have to be kidnapped before you start implementing safety measures? Just give your toads guns so they can shoot the fucker! That is all I wish to discuss of wars for now. I will go now. I wish to study everything about League of Legends for a possible war. Why the fuck even do that? Why can we not just leave them be and live in peace and harmony? There might be a possibility that they will attack us first, and we must be ready for them. For if we know neither the enemy nor ourselves, we will succumb to every battle. Sun Tzu said that! Really? I thought it was from. Anyways, I must go and study the enemy now. Maybe I should study the Mushroom Kingdom for a possible war with them as well. Honestly, I think we should really go to war with the Mushroom Kingdom. I really want to kick Mario's ass! Not now. Maybe when the time comes. What about Disney? Mickey Mouse kinda pisses me off! No, no more wars for now. Now, I would like to bring the original topic up of Scandi's pop music. He plays it all the time and I'm afraid it might piss off the neighbors. Hey! Open this door, or I'm fucking opening the goddamn thing for you! God damn it, I knew it! Hey, Carl, how are you? Pissed off. That little cocksucker keeps blasting that same fucking pop song all the fucking time. Scott! Yeah, that's something new he's into. I know, because lately I've noticed my inability to sleep and I do love fucking pop music playing. And I'm not the only one. He's got the whole neighborhood pissed off. And I'm not just talking about us. I mean, all of Willow Creek. I mean, it's fucking 24-7 with this shit. Tell him to turn that shit off. 
Oh, I'm turning it the fuck off on him. I can't even hear my own music. You know, Mustang Dawn is a really good song. It's just too bad I can't fucking hear it. Did you try headphones? I didn't. It didn't fucking work. That pop shit still got through. Instead of Mustang Dawn, all I heard was this fucking pop shit. What the fuck is it anyways? It better not be fucking Verosica Mayday. I fucking hate that bitch. I see you don't like Verosica. She told me to choke on a sandpaper coke. When was this? Back when I was in hell. Before I used the death flower to come back to life. Wait! Hell! You're telling me Verosica's a demon! Succubus to be more precise. But she's more of a succubitch. Huh! I see her on TV sometimes. That's interesting. Yeah, she uses a disguise when she's in the mortal world. That's interesting. So is she listening to that bitch for Osaka? I don't think so. From my understanding, what he's listening to is connected to League of Legends. The fuck is League of Legends? Whatever just tell him to turn that shit the fuck off. It's something he enjoys. I'm not going to tell him to shut it off. I'll just tell him to turn it down as to not disturb the neighborhood. You fucking better. I got blitz on speed dial. What are you doing? Give it a minute. What? Nothing. Just doing a test. Call you back later when I want a real assassination. Bah! Think he broke his phone again. Are you threatening us? I wouldn't have to if your dumbest friend didn't play that fucking pop song all the time. It's worse than me towards fucking candy shit. I don't fucking agree to you threatening us. Either you cut ties with Blitz, or I have Scout Blast that shit so fucking loud it breaks the goddamn sun barrier. You better fucking not. Only if you don't cut ties with Blitz. Look, I'll tell Scout to turn the music down only if you cut ties with Blitz. Deal. God damn it. I felt powerful having a demon assassin. I could just call and pay to have my enemies fucking killed. Fuck. Fine. Deal. We fucking won. In your fucking face, Carl! Sonic, shut the fuck up! Hey, have you been the one kicking my trash can over again? Maybe, but I'm not fucking telling you. Stay off my fucking lawn! I'm going back to my house and I better not hear that fucking pop music any fucking more! God fucking damn it! Yeah, fuck you too! Hey, Carl, how are you? Fuck you! What was all that about? Carl was complaining about Scout's music! Oh yes, the pop music. It does get a little repetitive after a while when you only play the same song over and over. Was there anything else? It sounds like you got into an argument. He threatened to have us assassinated and I wasn't going to let that shit fly. So I made a deal with him. He cuts his ties with his assassins and Scout turns down his music. Does he not remember that we are mobile suits? We could easily kill him instead. Even without them, we could still easily kill him. Even without bear hounds. I think he realizes the mobile suit situation and that's why he backed down so easily. I don't think he wants to risk his car or house being smashed to shit. That would be fun though. Just kick his fucking car into orbit with a mobile suit. I think it's best we stay away from Carl for a while. Don't know what else he might try to do. I agree with Heavy. Let's just keep our distance for now until the situation cools down. That means no trash can kicking. God damn it, there goes my plans for tonight. I'm gonna go tell Scout to turn his music down. I got a better idea. We go to war against Battleborn. Now what the fuck is Battleborn?